hello guys this is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make indian maharashtrian style red peanut chutney it's super spicy super delicious to eat with any kind of regular food and it will multiply the taste of your food and it's very easy to make so let's see the recipe at first we have to roast the peanuts you can see friends i have taken one cup of peanuts and i have turned on the heat of course so now let's roast the peanuts we have to roast the peanuts on medium heat until we can hear uh, the splitting sounds of the peanuts now they are ready and you can listen to the splitting sounds of the peanuts it means that uh, the peanuts are roasted very well and now is the time to uh take them off into a plate so let's take them off and uh, now in the same pan we will roast the uh, dry chilies i have taken some dry chilies i'm showing you and i have broken the chilies so that the seeds can come out and we can roast the seeds very well you can see and uh, i actually want to roast the seeds mainly because the uh, flavor the taste of the roasted seeds i mean roasted chili seeds are very nice and very delicious i just love it now we have to roast them for only 2 minutes so that the seeds can be roasted well and the chilies should not be black at all and now they are ready you can see and uh, we will take them off into a bowl and uh, in the same pan we will roast some garlic cloves now i have taken half cup of garlic cloves you can see and now we will uh, roast them for 2 uh, to 3 minutes on medium heat until uh, pink spots are on the garlic cloves so we have not to uh, roast them very well and uh, we have not to cook them very well from the inner side we will roast them a little from the outer side and they should remain raw from the inner side i think i can make you understand so they are ready now and another thing is that uh, it's not very necessary to roast them uh, actually you can add them raw also if you actually uh, like the raw flavor of garlic but uh, i like to roast them a little and now they are ready you can see pink spots are here so now we should remove them from the pan into a bowl and after everything cools down we have to blend them into a chutney now i have taken a small mixer jar you can see at first we will grind the roasted red chilies into a fine powder actually they are uh, my home dried red chilies so uh, their color is not so bright so i'll take some uh, red chili powder from market so that i can get some more spiciness and a brighter color you can see friends that uh, i have made a, a fine powder and now i am going to add some red chili powder so that i can get a brighter color and more spiciness If you want less spiciness then uh, you can skip the red chili powder and if you want a brighter color without spiciness then you can add paprika powder here and now i have added the garlic cloves and we'll run the mixer for a while you can see friends that uh, i have run the mixer for a while and now we have to add the peanuts here After adding the peanuts we will uh, run the mixer again and make the chutney into a coarse powder not a fine powder but uh, here my mixer jar is small and actually i was wrong to select my jar i had to choose the bigger jar for this chutney because uh, the quantity is not so small so i am trying again but in vain now i think that uh, i should transfer the chutney into a bigger jar i have taken a bigger jar you can see friends and i am transferring the chutney into the bigger jar
and uh, I'll add the rest of the pinners here. Rest of the pinners, and we'll add salt to taste here. And then we have to run the mixer, and we have to make a coarse powder of the chutney. You can see, friends, I have made the chutney, and it's a coarse texture. It's perfect and uh, our chutney is ready so now let's take it out into a bowl you can store this chutney for one month without freeze and for three months in normal refrigerator now we have to put this chutney in an airtight container and store it serve a little quantity of this chutney with your regular food and enjoy it it will be very delicious to eat with your normal regular food and the taste of your regular food will be increased amazingly. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye.